What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the HFG show, the Hawaii Fishing Gear show. We are High Fish Gear, highfishgear.com. Uh, we got restocked today. We're Not the big restock that I had hoped was coming in today. That's all coming in on Friday. All right. But we did get restocked on the number one best-selling product on highfishgear.com. Uh, we got restocked on these bad boys right here. And uh, I'm going to start off this video with some interesting facts about tough bubbles that you probably didn't know. All right. Um, this is the number one best selling product on highfishgear.com. This is the large, clear, tough bubble. All right. They're available, just like I said, just restocked on highfishgear.com. How much does this weigh when it is absolutely full of water like this one is right now? I just got done talking story with brother Andy, brother Max, mahalo for shopping, stopping by the shop today and talking and yapping for like the last hour. Um, I wrote it all down right here, right now. Well, let's just start with full of water, full of water. Full of water is 1.9 ounces. And then I also want to say something real quick. If you fill it up at home with fresh water, I'm here at the shop. And we had to fill up this tough bubble with fresh water, 1.9 ounces. Had we gone to the ocean and filled up this water by submersing it in salt water and watching all the bubbles get out, bloop, 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 and to us all full and then plugged it up, would be 1.95 ounces because salt water weighs almost 3% more than fresh water. I just learned that today. We talked about it. We, we checked it up. We Googled it. It's a fact. 1.9 ounces full of fresh water, 1.95 ounces full of salt water. Now, um, I was talking with Andy. He's telling me that he always fills it up three quarters because it's almost 1.75 ounces. But I actually filled it up right to. Let me show you real quick. You see these little plastic grooves over here? Little. It gives the it gives the tough bubble structure. That's the toughness of it right there. It gives it extra structure. When you fill it right up to the top of that groove right there, I'm going to try to show it on, I'm showing it on Instagram really good. I'm going to try to show it good on YouTube. There's these little grooves right here. When you fill it up all the way to the top is 1.65 ounces. 1.65 ounces filled up right to the top of the groove. Now what about halfway through the groove? Halfway through the groove, 1.5 ounces. And then if you do it right to the, the okole crack of the bubble, 1.15 ounces 1.15 ounces now if you wanted to go below that why even bother because we have a different sizes this is the medium the medium 0.65 ounces 0.65 ounces when you fill that all the way up with water it would be probably close to 0.7 close to three quarters of an ounce if you filled it up with salt water at the ocean this is with fresh water and the little baby bubbles this one is not the best seller but that's a quarter ounce right there and now you know. Mahalo. Mahalo for listening. Mahalo for learning. Thank you for joining me on this learning expedition. All right. Uh, tough bubbles are restocked. Like I said, it is one of the best. It is the best selling individual product on, on highfishgear.com. And I got a wonderful chance just the other day when I was placing a nice massive order. How about toilet water? Depends on if you get urine or not. <laughs> um, I talked to the owner. And I wanted to give him his praises of his product. And I wanted to tell him how much Tough Bubble, how much the, the anglers of Hawaii love the Tough Bubble product. And I talked to him about maybe doing a special little product, a project, just for the Hawaii anglers. And he's down. And that's all I'm going to say. You got to stay tuned to the show. He's already working on it. The owner of a Double X Tackle. He said, I'm down. I want that we got a lot of orders from Hawaii. And I'm like, yeah, because we love tough bubbles here in Hawaii. All right. And he's working on a little special project for all you Hawaii anglers out there. Not just for my shop, for all the shops that carry tough bubbles across the state. I said, I don't want anything exclusive. Let's just work on something special that everybody can have as a shout out to the the people that buy their product so much. Okay. Salt water is more dense. Thank you very much, Leo. We just discovered that too. Like with minerals and stuff. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. The, the mock bubble coming. Okay. Let's see. How far do normally people cast these? It, you know what? Um, 
I guess with 0.75 ounces, I can probably get about 70 yards. 70 yards on my Tika Simon Steelhead. About se No, no, that was something different. I got 90. 60 to 70 yards with my Tika Simon Steelhead. Full bubble. Full bubble. Uh, it really depends on the rod. It depends on the person casting. That's just what I personally got. Okay. And then we get all the people chiming in. What about toilet water? <laughs> okay. You know what? Um, uh, yeah, I put it, I'm one of those guys. I'm one of those guys. He said that everybody insists it's 1.66 ounces. I was seriously, honestly, under the impression up until like an hour ago that this was 1.66 ounces. I said it with absolute certainty because I think I weighed the plastolite, which is another bubble that we measured. I weighed that, and it was 1.6. The tough bubble is a little bit more dense, a little bit more thicker, and when you fill it up with water, 1.9 ounces, the tough bubble. Different. Not every bubble is made the same. Uh, case in example, I'm going to drop them right now. Psych. <laughs> <I get them. laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys got any questions, please go ahead and ask right now, and don't forget auctions during the weekdays at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. on our Facebook page, High Fish Gear Deals. Lots of deals to be had, 30 items. It goes for about an hour. Join us on your lunch break. Join us at work with, with the, the auctions on blast where, where I curse and make loud, obscene noises and embarrass you in front of your coworkers. It happened today. <laughs> All right. Questions, go ahead and shoot them now. Uh, I'll give you guys a couple minutes. Wallace is here online on on uh, YouTube, on Instagram. All right. Book a world record. Let's see. Thanks for the quick ship. Ordered on Friday, arrived on Sunday. Super quick. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Rich Mitchell. Um, that's one thing that we're known for. We're known for our hustle. The order comes in. If we're here at the shop, when your order comes in, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to get it packed, and we're going to get it to the post office by the end of the day so you can have it, hopefully, the next day on in Hawaii mainland you gotta wait a couple extra days that's just one of those things you live over there we live over here you want what we got we got to get it to you that way all right with the major craft LSJ light short jigging rods make a good whipping rod too absolutely 100% um, light short jigging light short jigging now what they call jigging shoreline jigging in Japan Asia is actually pretty much what we do whipping when you're out there whipping a bubble or whipping a, a cast master you're basically doing the same almost the same exact action as whipping the jigging rods we you discovered it if anybody wants to contradict what i'm saying please feel free to go ahead and just chime in but what they do jigging on light shore jigging is pretty much just our whipping okay but did you break any world records what you yapping about brother Okay. Uh, yes, it works great for a whipping rod. Will you ever shave the beard? Um, probably need some money for that. I've had this beard since I was like high school. All right, still get stuff like trapped in there. I like my beard. It's my identity. All right. If you guys got questions, please go ahead and shoot. We'll give you guys a couple minutes. Not too many questions. Just to recap, tough bubbles, tough bubbles, are coming. Uh. Are come are back in stock on high fish gear the number one product go check them out okay uh, and then the weights you guys want to know the weights check out the video once it posts that's pretty much it make some flies with it we actually did they came out kind of gross looking somebody said make flies with my beard hairs I did back in the day I cut a little piece and tied it into a fly it didn't look right did not look right at all just gonna say all right so whole, not a whole lot of questions which means it's nice it's, it's a nice short 10 minute video Filled with factoid information about the weights of tough bubbles and the fact that they're back in stock. Uh, one more little tidbit I want to leave you guys with before we head out. This is the last day to get free shipping on this hat. That is the Taco Black. There is less than 10 left right now until we get restocked on the hats. We still have lots of patches and stuff, but we're out of that, almost out of the hats. $24.99. This is a hot hat. We've, we've actually sold quite a bit over the last week. But this is the last day we're offering free shipping on it back to $29.95 with you have to pay for shipping. We got a new hat of the week coming out tomorrow. Join us tomorrow on the HFG show. 
We'll talk more story. Hopefully, offer you some more factoids, some nice, interesting stuff. Jesse will be here. Jesse will probably join me for the video. We'll do a little side by side. We're going to be stuck over here. Be over there. All right. All right, you guys have a good one. Uh, we will, oh, there's some really long questions. Here you go. You know what? I'm going to stop. Alberto Flores, how you doing? Greetings from California. When you have back the Daiwa leaders, all my fishing equipment I'm buying from you start, and it works great. I use it in Baja, Mexico, and have a lot of catches. Thank you for everything. You're the best high fish gear. Uh, a California resident found a product on our website that he really loves. He loves the Daiwa fluorocarbon. He likes our shipping. It comes in quick. He gets tracking and all that good stuff, so he's been back. Thank you very much, Roberto. We appreciate your business, brother. Okay, is there a difference with casting tough bubbles versus lead weights? Um, my opinion, not based in science, just based in me working at a tackle shop and having to explain this. Um, the mass. This is 1.9 ounces, and a, le a egg lead is going to be about there for 2 ounces and very small. The mass on this is spread out. If you try casting, you know, you get wind resistance when you cast this. The lead, you're going to get less red, uh, resistance. I say the lead will probably cast a little bit better because there's less resistance. And the wind does play a factor, especially with something that's not too, not that big heavy. You cast a 2-ounce bubble into the wind versus when 2-ounce lead in the wind, you'll probably get better distance with the lead, if that's the difference that I mean. Okay? All right, will you be bringing back the Tetraworks jig heads? Tetraworks jig heads? Yes, we will be bringing them back in for sure. Will you be bringing in the Tetraworks jig heads? Yes, we didn't have them yet, but we will be bringing them in. He's working on them. All right. Okay, that's pretty much it. We will see you guys back here tomorrow to announce a new fishing hat of the week. Um, you guys go snag that one before they're all gone. $29.99 with free shipping on highfishgear.com. That's the Taco Black. And uh, that's pretty much it. Aloha, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.